Hi everyone and welcome back to another how-to video. Uh, today we're going to try and make our own homemade donuts. Yes, <laughs> so you need 125 grams of bread flour uh, and half a pack of the fast-acting dry yeast. That goes into your bowl. You then need 15 grams of caster sugar, one egg, and 35 millilitres of water. And mix that together. Now you want to mix all that together until it forms a nice dough and it starts coming away from the edges of the bowl. And then we can move on to the next bit. Once the dough is formed, you want to turn it off and you want to leave it to rest for about a minute and then we can add the butter and move on to the next stage. Once it's rested for a minute, it's now time to put the butter in. So you turn it up to a high speed and you add 30 grams of butter slowly. Now this is so it can mix in nicely and it gives it a nice glossy um, coat to our pastry. Once the butter's mixed in nicely, what you then want to do is you then want to prove it for about an hour. Um, and I'll show you how to prove stuff once it's formed, but if not, basically you want to get the bowl, cover it with a damp cloth, and put it over some kind of like warm heat source. Like I said, the back of the warm oven always helps. Um, but yes, yeah, so you want to prove that for about an hour, uh, and then we can come back to that and move on to the next. So it's been just over the hour. So your dough should have doubled in size. So now it's just a case of put it back in the machine, knock it back for a bit. And then unfortunately, this is now a long waiting period. Um, this dough, once it's been knocked back, then needs to go in the fridge for at least four hours, just so that it can set a little bit better. Um, and once they're ready to come out, we can then move on to the next bit, which will be then forming our donuts and getting ready to cook them. So yeah, once this is mixed, uh, get it in the fridge and unfortunately just wait four hours. Right, so it's now just been over four hours, so it's time to get these to cook. So take your dough out and it should have doubled in size and it should be a lot firmer now. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get it out of the bowl and we're gonna roll it into ring donut shapes. Now. I've heated about 500 millilitres of vegetable oil in a large pan um, and yeah, you just need to get that pretty hot before we start this. So I'm going to roll that out and then I'm going to cut it into four and then each one of those four I'm going to roll out into sausage shapes and turn them to form a ring of some description. <laughs> oh dear. Now, these ain't going to be perfect, but we will try and see if they are just as good as ones that you get from the seaside. So, just turn them. And then, once that's heated for about two or three minutes, because obviously you do have to be careful with oil. You should start to hear it hiss a little bit and bubble. So we are now going to, right, once they've taken shape, let's put them in the oil, gently. And they should start to hiss and bubble all the way around it. And that's what we want. Right, you're going to want to cook them for anywhere from three to four minutes either side. Um, just keep them in the pan one side to start with, and then, like I said, once it's been about three or four minutes, 
then turn them and then it should be done. Uh, but what you want to do is just keep a look um, and check the site. I mean if you're unsure then just scoop it. So these are ready to come out. They have cooked in a minute or two. So always be careful with oil. So literally once the donuts are cooked, turn it off the heat and move the oil away. Um, because the last thing you want to do is to cause any problems. Right, so we'll let them cool down for a sec. Get them straight in to the sugar. Cook them nicely on both sides, and they are done. So let's just have a look at them. There you go. Look at that. Get sugar all the way around it because you know nothing better than a nice sugary donut. And there you have a sugar ringed donut. Might not be. Quite as good as what you get at the seaside, but pretty good all the time, all the way. So there you go, ringed sugar donuts. Anyway, that is the end of the video. Thank you all again so much for watching, um, and I will see you again in the next one. Later.